Hello everybody and welcome to your indie snapshot for today. Today we're taking a look at something called Fatal Exam. Fatal Exam is kind of an uh, homage to your old school side scrolling beat em up in the vein of something like Streets of Rage. Um, and Wait, hang on, oh, hang on. Oh. Final, final exam. Final exam, as I said. You said fatal. Fatal exam? Final exam. Anyway, <laughs> it's an homage to <laughs> your side-scrolling beat-em-ups of, of old. And um, since it, these kinds of games are best enjoyed multiplayer, as you already are aware at this point, Dean is with me. Hi, Dean. Hello. Yeah, as he Hi. corrects me, basically telling me what this game is called. Um, so me, Dean and I did play uh, the first level already, kind of get a feel for the game. And um, I... I think we both have a lot to say about it, so we're going to be talking about it uh, as we play. But first, there are, uh, much like other games like this, there are, there's a character kind of, uh, what do you call it, a character list. You can choose from multiple different characters. There's four, I think, in the game. And you just go right down here to character configuration, and these are your four characters. So, you got Brutal Joe, Nathan, Cassie, and Sean. I like how three of them have normal names, and Joe is Brutal Joe. Yeah, yeah. It's <laughs> really weird. And they're all very stereotypical. Right, yeah, oh well, yeah, very, very stereotypical. And um, these particular characters um, kind of, you know, all have their own, I don't know why I'm struggling with word choice here, but they all have their specifics like positives and, and um, negatives. So Brutal Joe's got a lot of life, he hits really hard in melee, but he's shitty with precision and he's shitty with explosives, I guess? Um, while Nathan is kind of the opposite. He's really good with explosives, but he doesn't have a lot of strength. And Cassie seems to be an all-arounder, while Sean has excellent precision. Sean's great with guns. Who I think that's who Dean is playing. And yep. uh, you can, with these characters, when you choose them, actually spend skill points on them. So as you play through levels, you gain experience. And if I go ahead and choose this character, you can see that I now have skill points I can spend. So you can up your characteristics with something called CP, which is going to be character points. And I have none right now, but you can just basically bring up your life, your strength, your precision, etc., etc. And your skills are used with special points. So I can go ahead and hit A and jump into these skills. And each character is going to have something that's going to look like this. It's going to be skill trees, similar to something like Borderlands. Um, this is actually where mine and I think Dean's first complaint kind of arises. The idea of skill trees in this particular kind of game is good. I actually really like it. Customizing your favorite character, having special moves that are, you know you only have with him, you know, investing time and experience in this character is kind of cool. The problem I have with this with this particular tree is that there's not a whole lot here. Um, and I assume it's the same with everybody else. So by the way it looks like, you have one, two, you have three like layers to your talent tree. And I'm gonna go ahead, and I've already spent two. Uh, just from going through the tutorial, you get two character points or special points. And then after the first level, we got three more. At least I got three more. I don't know about you, Dean. Yeah, I got three more as well. Yeah, so if I go ahead and spend it, um, we have our, his special maneuver. Uh, I got charged when we first started playing, which allows me to charge through characters. Next is Rage. When Brutal Joe is enraged, he hits harder, takes less damage. So basically, yeah, in enraged mode. We'll go ahead and do that. And um, so we got that now. And now I can go ahead and pick up other ones like, uh, let's see, Tackle, Slide Along the Ground. We've got Dodge. I can better dodge things, even though I dodged already. So basically, just it's up in your combos. And... See, they, they superficially lock a lot of this off because after you get through the first two, which, as you can see, I'm almost done with them as it is. I might as well just put another point. I don't know here. Uh, as you, I only need one, two, three more before I'm fully, you know, fully have these particular skills completely filled out. And the next tier is locked until we get 20% through the way of the game, and the next one's 40%. So it kind of makes you feel like, you know, you're kind of forced. There's no specialization here. Because you're going to end up getting all the skills by the time you finish up and get to the next layer here. It's something like Borderlands, you're not going to get all the skills. The game forces you to choose a specialization because you're never going to get enough skill points until, you know, the game extends its level cap. Um, and even then you're still specializing. You're never going to get all the skills in, in something like Borderlands or Diablo. Well here, it looks like you're just going to grab all the skills and then as soon as the next tier unlocks, you're going to get them all. So having a skill tree is almost, you know, negligible. Because by the time the game's over, you're going to have all the skills for your favorite character. Yeah, you, at that point you may as well just have a list. Right, exactly. You might as well just, the, your character might as well just level up and he gains these bonuses as he goes. So, I kind of have a problem with that. Um, the idea is good, the execution is poor. That's just what I, you know, that's my opinion. Any, do you have anything to say about it, Dean? It's, the skill tree is essentially just like an illusion. Mm -hmm. it, you think you're creating your own version of Sean or 
brutal Joe, and you're really not. At the end of the game, you're going to have the same brutal Joe as everyone else. Exactly. And that's what makes something like Borderlands fun, because your siren could be completely different than your friend's siren, so... Yeah. And then you have the inventory, which you can equip different stuff. Um, we have an Uzi and a, a pistol. It doesn't really matter. And then uh, other things are unlocked as we play, presumably. But, I mean, that's the extent of the customization, which it works. Um, it, I mean, it, it's functional, barely. I don't know. I don't like it that much. Uh, but we're going to get into the game here. We're going to go to Chapter 2, the subway slide. And we're going to get into what the real problem with this game is very, very shortly. So I'm going to ready up. Looks like we're both ready. It's going to count down, and we'll dive on in. Let's do this. So ex it's so exciting. One of the things I will credit the game, though, um, once we see the gameplay here, is that the game I actually I actually kind of like the way it looks. It's bright. It's simple. It's very comic booky feeling, and um, you know it's 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 pleasant to look at. I like it a lot. So it looks like yeah. we have some ex what what go ahead. What were you gonna say? I was gonna say I feel good because the two D art is really really cool. I wanted it to be like a two D game. But I can understand why it's probably a bit easier to make it a 3D game. Well, yeah, I mean, they did the same with um, Double Dragon, the remake on the PS3 and, and yeah, Xbox. Yeah. So. so we have uh, objectives, which we have to go grab some crates and uh, go ahead and put them back at the beginning of the level. And this kind of already highlights one of the problems me and Dean both have with this game. Uh, oh, are you kidding me? The game is a beat-em-up, right? So you just kind of want to go from one one end of the level to the next, killing all the monsters in your way. That's kind of the point of the game. Um, that's just what these games exist for. The problem that this game has is it likes to shove all these weird fetch quests at you. Okay, well, I'm on fire now. Um, <laughs> the game is, is kind of made up of a bunch of fetch quests that the game kind of just throws at you, where you have to go collect, as far as we could tell, lots of crates all the time, and just bring them to parts of the level to advance. Which really defeats the point of these kinds of games. The idea like, of something like Streets of Rage, which I think you're even actually playing on your channel right now, aren't you, Dean? Yep. Um, is, is to go from one end of the level just killing everything in sight. And, uh, I mean, I wasn't a big fan of the beat-em-ups when I was growing up. I mean, I played them, I enjoyed them, but it wasn't, like, my favorite kind of game. What about right. you? Was that your kind of... Did you like it a lot when you were growing I up? I had a lot of beat-em-ups. So you, you're going to be the foremost expert here. Yeah, yeah. Well, not expert, but <laughs> the thing is, like, when you put these types of things into a beat em up, the pacing is all over the place. Right, exactly. And there's there's huge environments and about two enemies per screen, for the most part, unless they do, like, a horde mode type thing where you have to kill 50 in two seconds. Right. And it, it just it doesn't make sense. You can drop that, by the way. Okay, good. There's a secret area Thanks. down here. But yeah, that's a, that's exactly the problem. Like we're we're running around fetching all these things to move to the next level, and you, you kind of just want this game needs to be fast paced. It's all about the action. It's all about the. It's supposed to be, should I say, all about the action, all about the combat. And when when the game is making you fetch things, and while you're fetching things, two or three enemies are around, just kind of a, annoying you. It, it really does destroy the pace. It's a lot slower. It's kind of tedious. It's not all that fun. Um, which actually kind of highlights the next problem. What's we're pushing this now? Okay. Let's just push this, I guess. That's fine. I don't mind pushing things, but I don't understand. We are fucking superhuman. Right? Exactly. <laughs> um, but that highlights the next point. The next problem I have with this game, I think Dean does as well, is that the combat, the, the thing that's supposed to be really fun, and the thing that should be driving you forward to want to keep playing this game, is incredibly uninspired. And here we go with the horde mode. It's super simple. So you would think you get something like you know, light attack, heavy attack to build up some combos, but that's not true. You actually only have X. All you do is hit X over and over and over again. You can hold down X to charge up an attack, press up X to knock an enemy in the air, down X to knock them down from the air, but essentially that's all you have. You can't build combos. You can't, you know, lot, you can, you can't really, there's no special, oh God, it's, I'm, I'm my, trying to fight these enemies and talk at the same time is actually ruining my thought process here. Um, but as you can see, like, there's no challenge either. So there's no there's no particular reason to have a heavy attack when all these enemies are super simple to just kind of... I'm just mashing X here. I'm not doing anything else. I have a special attack where I can hold down X. Watch, here we go. Boom, I swing. Oh, I missed. All right, well, these monsters are just going to be up there, so we we'll might as well use our gun for the first time ever. <laughs> um, but yeah, the, the combat is incredibly simple, and all I do, all you do is mash X and different variations of, of mashing X. 
And uh, there's just not a lot of complexity to it, or, or depth to it, which is really unfortunate. Alright, we got them all. Alright, and I reload my gun. Um, there are guns in the game, which I guess, you know, is exists for the the kind of spicing up of combat, but the, the guns, I mean, they function, they work, they do damage, but they're really boring. Um, and they seem to be really ineffective in general. Um, you know, we just got it. We got an Uzi in last level, and I mean, that's the Uzi. Look how much damage that does. And we're better off just waiting for these guys to show up and come close because we instantly lock these enemies in a stun state, no matter what we do. If as soon as we start swinging in melee, they can't move. Um, there's a secret down there. I just don't know how to get down. Oh, over here. I'm just gonna go ahead down here. So they can't move. So we can just spam X, and all of a sudden they now they now they're just stuck and. There's nothing they could do. I mean, we get through horde mode like. Ver oh, there's a guy over here. What the hell? He's just chilling. But like, oh, guns are pointless because they don't really stun. But see, watch. Like, as Dean attacks and as I attack, they can't do anything. They just sit there and they fucking take it, which is there's no challenge. And this two, we've come across two types of enemies so far: weird, regular, human-looking enemies. And you are spazzing out on my screen like crazy. Did you see that happening on your screen too? Yeah. Okay. Um. Oh, we have to go down here. What's this? Okay, there we go. Story! Oh, but we're right there. Now we're just not there anymore. Okay, see you, dude. The fuck? Are you serious? And then that monster's just gone? No. What is... Okay. I have no idea what no. just happened there. <laughs> Alright, hang on. Let me reload my gun. Alright. Let's go. What was I talking about? Shit. Um, oh, there he goes. Enemies... Oh, right. Think. So, we, we've come across two types of enemies. These regular, like, zombie, m alien monsters, and then the rat versions. The thing is, the only thing special about the rat monsters is they can spin up like Sonic the Hedgehog and, and move on. <laughs> and, um... And the other ones just kind of charge you like a normal enemy, but don't have anything special, so... You know, something like Streets of Rage or any other kind of beat-em-up, you're gonna have different types of enemies that require different types of attacks to either break their defenses or do more damage. But since this game is literally mash X to win, um, the enemies don't really do anything incredibly special. And you can just hit X and they become perma-stunned and you can't do anything. And since my charge, my hold down X to charge an attack is specific to Brutal Joe, it's not something that Sean can do or Cassie can do. It's, it's literally an ability I bought with a skill point. There's never, I feel like there's never going to be an enemy that, that takes advantage of that particular maneuver because it's specific to one character. So if you decide to play as Sean as in a single player, you know, version of the game, and you never have access to that particular maneuver, you you know, you're never gonna have to worry about an enemy really having a defense they have to break with that. If that makes right. any sense. Um, which means, you know, really what all, all it means to me is that all these enemies are gonna be the same. No matter they may look different and they may act slightly different. Okay. We're just gonna beat these <laughs> but they're oh, always shit. gonna be mash X to win. Like, there's never gonna be a challenge here, and that's really shitty for a uh, beat 'em up. There's zero challenge, and I just feel like it's poor game design. Yeah, they add grenades and guns to try and spice it up, but it doesn't really work. Right, but the guns are pointless. Like, I can use guns. Like, we have to use guns against these enemies on the wall because. Okay, cool. They're on the wall. How are you gonna get them down? Well, I have to shoot them with my bullets, I guess. But. You know, once they come into melee range, there's nothing they can do. I can sit here and just spam X and you can do nothing else. And I can shoot my gun because I'm bored of hitting X, but that's about it. Like, does the gun perform some kind of like crowd control? Does it slow them down or is it literally just... No, it doesn't slow them down at all. Um, like yeah. watch, when they charge at me, like watch. So when they're doing their charge maneuver, okay. So it seems like the way it's working is if they're doing their charging at me, it doesn't slow them down. but. If they come, but if my melee attack will still slow them down. Um, but if they're just standing there, it'll just stun them like my regular melee attacks do. Yeah, so all of there's no point. No, they just let them let them get in a melee range because my melee, not only do my melee attacks, you know, stun them in place forever, but they do more damage. The bullets do like 9 to 10 or, or so damage, while my melee attacks do 36 or something. Fucking hell. So, let's, uh, like, let's wait for an enemy to come in, come close. There it is. So, yeah, my bullets are doing 7 damage, my melee attacks just did like 27, 27, 31, 36. So th why would I use my gun other than to knock the enemies that are wall crawlers off the wall? And that's just kind of like, aha, see, we made you use your gun, how exciting. 
Okay, no, okay, thanks. I appreciate you trying to spice up my life. And then you have grenades, which you use with our bumper, and you can kind of aim um, with the right stick. I mean, control-wise, the game control's fine. I should say that. Like, the controls are not a big deal. There's a few questionable things they make you do, like to go upstairs instead of hitting up to, like, move on to the next plane. Um, they make you press up B, which is kind of bizarre. Same thing with ladders. They make you press up B. Like, B is the only is the, the thing that they want you to press for one reason or another. Um, I was going for the bullets. That's why I was going back. Oh, <laughs> no. Enemies on the wall. Yeah, so the, the control scheme is sometimes a little bit strange, but the controls feel good. Yes. Everything feels good. Even, um... Even hitting the enemies actually feels pretty good. Like, the reactions are good, the blood splatter is nice, uh, they, they react nicely. But I just wish the enemy design is just uninspired. They're your typical green eyed monsters. Nothing special to look at. They're not fucking hard. They're really easy to just kill. Uh, no, they're they stopped by melee attacks. Like, it's, it's kind of, it's just kind of meh. It's just giant, oh. it's a giant bowl of boring. There's <laughs> nothing exciting about this. Big old bull of meh. Yeah, and like, you know, the enemies, they're just like, they're they're annoying. Like, that shouldn't be, that shouldn't be what I say about a beat em up I shouldn't be saying, man, the enemies sure are annoying. They should be <laughs> difficult, or they should be fun. They should be a mix of both. But when they're just standing in my way from fetching something and moving it to the other end of the map so I can fucking progress and be done with this godforsaken level, <laughs> then, you know, you have a problem. Like, this, uh, this fucking, this fucking rat right here, like, I was off picking up ammo, and he just chased his tail. Like, he literally did an animation of him chasing his tail. Instead of attacking me, he chased his tail. Holy. Yay, a new gun, Magnum. Let's see how... Oh, it does, 80, it does 80 damage. That's nice. Yeah, mine does 103. Yeah, you do a bit better with because you're Sean, man. You're good with guns. Yeah. Um, I like how accuracy is a stat, but I never miss with my fucking gun. Like, I don't understand. Yeah. I think or precision, precision might just precision, be like maybe. a fancy way to say damage. Uh, I feel like which we, yeah, doesn't we, really make sense. We can just jump. I like hitting them in the head. All right, where are we going next? I don't understand. Uh, find them. Oh, we gotta go find the mechanic. That dude who had a random rat monster appear, scare him, and then the game just forgot we were there. <laughs> so yeah, now I can just brutal strength these guys, and now see they just all we just I just fucking locked all three of them in an animation awful. They couldn't do anything. I assume uh, this is to go up? Oh, uh, wait, no. Yeah, this way. Okay. Uh, so up there he is. The okay, it seems like I'm doing less damage the further away they are, which is kind of weird. Ow. Yeah, I guess it's... Yeah, why make a gun then? Right, that's if what I'm saying. Why am I doing more damage up close when the gun is specifically made as a distance weapon to deal with them at a distance? I don't know. It's just fucking dumb. Wait, it's saying he's down here. This should not be the game. I should not be going through this, this big fucking boring map <laughs> looking and fetching things. It's so boring. And that's another thing, too. The level design is fucking boring. Holy shit, is it boring. We went through, the first level was like, I think it was supposed to be a school, but it looked like an office. And then we went to your typical subway sewer level, and that's where we are now. It's like, holy fuck. I guess we go back down now? I don't understand. I have no fucking idea what's happening right now. Didn't we come up this way? Yeah. Okay, yeah, it's telling us to go this way now. Okay. Fucking rat monster. Uh, I should I should enrage myself next time we have like a big horde so I can use one of my specials. Nope, maybe this way. Yeah, it was a. Uh... Why is it making us come back? And uh, this is I maybe we're not going back. Oh, maybe this level just looks fucking the same. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> maybe we're just in a different part of the map. It needs me to be down apparently. Oh come on. Uh, so, yeah, no, this is the same. We're back here. Where we got the Magnum. Oh, I'll keep the Magnum. Yeah, it's way better than the fucking Uzi. Yay, generic monster exploding. I hope there's another boss fight, because... Oh, the last boss fight was awful. There he is. 
Like, the last boss fight was, it was like a three-phase boss fight, of which we went through three mini-levels to do. And, holy fuck. Was it, like, the most, uh, you know, uninspired thing. It was awful. Yeah. Alright. Hide and seek. Yeah. We did it. I don't... What are we doing now? Oh, here it comes. It's almost got kind of a Team Fortressy 2 kind of art direction. Hmm. Uh, that's a push door, dude. Why'd you pull it? Okay. Watch the out! Box. Oh. What the? All right, watch out. He says, "Flee with the mechanic." Are we gonna have to defend ourselves while he picks a lock? Is that what's about to happen? Hang on, I'll just ra enrage myself. Oh, good. I just do probably more damage. Like this isn't like. I can just go in here and just attack them, though it does a bunch of damage for me going in here. I should probably get out of here. I'm not enraged anymore. Oh, shit. Okay, well. Uh, I can just do my special charging maneuver. So that's my special. What was your, Oh, just infinite, like, gun shooting. Oh, uh, well. Oh, you died. Don't worry, I'll just... Knock them all into there. Oh, I need that. Hell. I just feel like it's just a waste to not be Brutal Joe. He just seems like the best character right off the bat because of the melee thing. Right. Yeah, that's, that makes a, that's a good point. And then, like, he has all these specials that, that allow him to melee better, like just going enraged or charging. Yeah. Alright. Come on, fucking Smith. Why are we not jumping these? I can jump just as high as these fences. Okay, moving on. Alright, well, we're going up here. Shopping! New objective. Shopping? Really? Let's go shopping. Right, what are we doing here? Alright, let's follow him and see where he goes. All what right. the mechanic? Uh, up here. <laughs> go, and all, and as, as you can see, all we're doing is just going through the level we went through the entire level. Really kind of just boring. <sighs> it's just tedious. If the level design was interesting, maybe. Maybe if, like, the level broke apart as we smashed enemies into it. Like, that'd be kind of cool. Okay, well, you just smash me. Okay, they just, they just glitched <laughs> up and down. They're coming for you, though. Oh, fire, fire. Alright, well, the enemies are going to have to walk through that, apparently. All right. I'm curious. I'm curious to know if the mechanic can actually be hit, or if it's literally just follow me. I feel like it's just a follow me situation. He has no health bar that we can see, so. Brilliant. Yeah, I'm just gonna sit here and smash the the key for a while. Get down. Get right. off. Where are you? Let's go over here. Oh, shit. What? You alright? I'm gonna die again. Oh, no. I like how the mechanic's just cowering. Alright. Oh, I'm out of ammo. So I can't... I wonder what happened. Like, I wonder if they... Uh, can I just jump and hit them? Yeah, I can just jump and hit them. So I can, like, knock them up in the air. Knock them off. Like, I'll show, like, some of that here. I can knock them up. Oh, he died. Never mind. There we go. Knocked him up, down. Bam. Get the mechanic working on the platform. Okay. Really? I mean, like, seriously, like, I have to... Work. Now I have to pick him up and carry him around? Like, that's so dumb. Good gameplay. Good job. Up, oh, up. Oh, the same boss from the first level. All right. Oh, how exciting. This was the boss in the first one. Now he's, what, he's just, like, a regular enemy at this point? I don't get it. I feel like... Well, we have to protect him until that bar fills up, I think. Oh, right. Yeah, but he's up there by himself. Yeah, I know. We shouldn't. He shouldn't have to worry. Okay, I'm just gonna sit up here. Like, do we even have to deal with the big guy? Oh shit! I don't understand. Oh, but the big guy's like throwing little enemies at him, I guess. But I could just sit up here and be fine. I feel like. Did I just? Uh, you just get stunned, right? Okay. Yeah, I wonder if this guy can be even be killed. If he's one of those enemies that just kind of sits there and 
takes it. All right, well, what the? What is he doing? Stretching? Oh, he knocks oh, well. the mechanic off. Oh, okay. Ow. Well, yeah, there you go. I'm gonna. I'm actually gonna die here probably. Oh, I'm dead. Minus five thousand. I like how it minuses five thousand points for you when you die. Like you suck. Minus five thousand points. Oh, come on. <laughs> okay. Alright, relax. Now you have to get that guy up in the ceiling. I can't shoot him. I have no armor. Oh, there's some. Uh, oh, alright, what's he doing? Alright, alright, chill out. I wish he could be killed. Right, it's fucking. It's my spock over him. <laughs> oh, he died. Oh, this guy's on me. And it's just, yeah, God, like, this was like, this happened like twice in the other level too, where you just have to fight these enemies until this incredibly slow bar fills up. Not fun. I mean, after this, I think we, we've got a good, like, look at the game, but yeah, it's just boring. Boring, also, boring, boring. Do you know what he's doing right now, the mechanic? I have no idea what he's doing. Where to protect him. Uh, what? Uh. Why'd he fall off? Oh, escort him with the escort him. Here. Okay, we can't pick him up anymore, so we have to escort him. Let's see where he's going. Escort missions always a great game design choice. Jack, I never. Nah. <laughs> All right, broken ladder means we're gonna be stuck here. How exciting! Is he coming? Yep. Same boring enemy. And I think that's like one of the worst things that can happen to a game is this, it's like you can't even like hate it because the controls are bad or you can't even hate it because the gameplay is like broken. You just don't, it's just, it's boring. Yeah. Like it's like everything works but it's just not fun. And that's, that's like one of the worst things. It's like this could have been fun if they had just, you know, changed, like done some really basic design decisions like varied enemies and um, you know, more than a one-button combat system. Oh, it would have been so much better. 11,000 points, yay! But you can pick them up and throw them into fire. Yes, exciting. And now we're protecting him again, but I think this is like... I don't think anybody wants to watch this anymore. I don't nope. think I want to fucking play this anymore. No. Nope. I mean, I think we're going to stop here. You can get this on Steam. What is it, 10 bucks on Steam? I'm not Probably. Really sure. Um, this is a final exam, not fatal exam as I was wrongly called it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you were watching it on my channel, I'll be sure to have a link to Dean's channel in the description below. You can go check out his perspective and all his stuff on his channel. It'll be vice versa, I'm sure, on his channel mm -hmm. as well. Make sure you hit that like button, drop a, a comment below, still declare your loyalty uh, by hitting that subscribe button, declare within the comment section if you're part of the Horde or one of the wonderful survivors. Final exam, ladies and gentlemen. Boring as fuck. I'll see you next Goodbye. time. Goodbye. Bye-bye.